All right, Judge Osley recused himself back on February 16th of 2024. And he said that in accordance with the article 671B and 671-2, he recuses himself because he's got prior knowledge of the case and he would rule the same way, all right, um, for this next trial. Uh, he feels that there's sufficient evidence, so uh, mindful, being mindful of the admonition of Canon 3C of the Code of Judicial Conduct uh, and, oh yeah, and the Louisiana Code, he recuses himself, but uh, he seems to have forgotten um, in this time since February 16th to, to, to uh, the dates that he signs on uh, the minutes that that he recused himself because he's he's back on the case signing or approving getting his name on the 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 minutes approving these minutes now in that time I mean I did I did lose a lawyer. I lost the lawyer and back to pro se. Is he taking advantage of the, the situation of me not having a lawyer? Because it kind of appears that way. I wonder if uh, <clears throat> the old lawyer I had, if he was back, if he was on the case, if Judge Arsley would have done this too. But he did it. He, would, he was recused once and, and uh, I filed a motion now to recuse him a second time, uh, I, I guess, in, in, in uh, certain, certain words. Because I, I, I asked uh, for the relief. The relief that I asked is that he be, uh, well, this, I saved it. Second recu on the second recusal, and I, I, uh, I asked ChatGPT about the, um, the signing of my uh, minutes by him, and ChatGPT said, yeah, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't look good. I mean, there's no reason that the judge should be involved in my case in any way. They just don't hop back on for little administrative deals. It's all got to be done by some other judge not Judge Owsley. So that's that's a problem that he's he's created for himself, for the for me, for the court. Uh, and he's already been at, um, like called out because that's all I can say about it. I don't I haven't heard of any discipline measures for this city judge about denying me uh, uh, my free lawyer. He was called out by the Third Circuit Court of Appeals uh, with the free lawyer thing. And it looks like um, I'm, I have to call him out again. I mean, there's so many things that you got to call him out on. I mean, there's you got to call out the the cops, got to call out the judge, got to call out the prosecutor. There's so many things that they're doing uh, that are, are just are not ethical. So I'm I'm asking the re for the relief. Uh, it to issue an order precluding Judge Ousley from performing any further administrative or procedural actions in this case, consistent with his re recusation order dated in February, direct the clerk of courts to ensure that all future administrative actions or procedural matters in this case are exclusively handled by the current presiding judge, Judge Brian Barber, or other non-recused court personnel, Notify the office of the prosecutor of this motion. Okay. I asked ChatGPT if, if the clerk of courts has any responsibility for this. Does, does Shanita, who's, who's actually the signer. See, I think that they're trying to pull a fast one by just having Shanita sign. And then Judge Owsley approve. Instead of Shanita just putting her name saying she was a clerk. And then Judge Owsley signing. They were doing this uh, light version of approval to maybe try to uh, sidestep um, his recusal. 
either way, it's it's pretty glaring to me. Okay, no matter how they who who signs it, but I, I mean I asked uh, the ChatGPT if Shanita would have any responsibility over over handing this the court minutes to Judge Alsley, and it said no that there that she really is just in like a somebody who prepares the documents she she like advises it's it's not her business to stop the judge from signing uh the these court minutes it was the judge's decision completely the the he wasn't fooled by anybody he knew what he was doing okay putting his name out there on the court minutes maybe he didn't think i would ask for the court minutes I mean, but they could have, you know, how they like to hide things and stuff. He could have just, you know, taken his name off and and then just had Judge Barber replace the name. But they sent it to me like this. And I didn't really think about it. I didn't look into it until like yesterday where I asked ChatGPT about it. So uh, when, the, when ChatGPT said that it's, it does look unethical, I was like, okay, ChatGPT, Write me my uh, my motion uh, to recuse Judge Owsley again. All right. <laughs> There's just so many firsts happening in the legal system that I'm dealing with in Louisiana that I've never seen happen. So many terrible, stupid things. More stupid than anything happening in Louisiana that I've ever seen in any other state. Yet, I'm the one at fault for, for talking about it. All right, I got to be the one who's shadow banned over this because I have to talk about it. Uh, and it's not happening in other states, so I had nothing to talk about in other states. But it's happening just on, on every level. Just the whole culture of stupidity. Just not thinking about the, the, uh, the, the outcome of what they're doing. Yet they blame me over I, uh, about not identifying myself. Yet they're making all these glaring, just foolish things. I mean, this uh, the argument that ChatGPT made, and I, I read the uh, the demands, but the arguments that it made is that yeah, it'll look, it'll look like bias. It doesn't look like we're maintaining impartiality here. He's influencing Judge Barber. Um, there was something else. Uh, it's, yeah, there's something else that it's, it's like automatic, it would be an automatic, uh, appeal, pretty much. It's, I think it said, uh, let's see, something about, I thought that question, I thought that was made in this. Alright, what I sent may not be talking about it. Factual background, I guess I should have, uh, looked it over. I just kind of let ChatGPT run with it. I said, I told ChatGP to make extra sure that the, the laws are correct. Uh, yeah, despite his recusal, it has come to the defendant's attention that Judge Ousley has continued to perform administrative tasks related to this case, including signing off on court minutes for hearings presided over by other judges. All right. Uh, <clears throat> he must refrain from further involvement because it can impact the proceedings. I mean, what does what does uh, recusal mean to to judge to city judges? These low um, low jurisdiction, small jurisdiction, low uh, low responsibility judges. What does it mean? It doesn't seem to mean much. Nothing seems to mean much to these these guys, and, and that's what I'm dealing with. I, I'll, I mean, I, I'm defending myself uh, in these in this court, and I shouldn't have to be dealing with them um, because of the the issues that they're causing, the further compounding issues about their own their own corruption. I, sh I shouldn't be I should be dealing with a, a court that has more responsibility than these guys, but uh, that's not that's not how the courts see it. In Louisiana it's how other courts see it in other states so it's, it's really frustrating to have to re recuse the judge a, a second time that's 
That's what's going on.